Hello Libra, welcome back to Delilah Spiritual Spot. This is your reading for January 2023 and I know I'm landing a little bit late, but better late than never. Um, February will be up the third week of the third week of January. So let's get here. We have Sunrise Libra, I like this. New creative ideas, a new venture, a fresh start. You know, has something to be said about the new year. Everyone is getting similar similar cards in terms of um, beginning anew. And, and I love that because, you know, many people um, have resolutions, myself included. We also have green. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. So a, a partnership of, sort, of some sort. Uh, it could be romantic, it could be business, as it says. Um, and, and I like that because I'm going to try to touch upon business uh, and love in this reading, depending on where the tarot draws me. We also have Ram, a stubborn and aggressive person. So someone to look out for, um, this person who has this spirit. We also have Rat, someone working against or behind your back. You know, it's sad that the case is that when we're trying to start a new or trying to do something different, improve upon ourselves. We do have these negative Nancys, I like to say, around us. And normally it's someone close to us. Um, and if you have someone uh, close to you like this, it's time to reevaluate their place in your life and their importance. You know, sometimes we have to put people in the background um, for this very reason, because when we're trying to improve upon ourselves, there's always someone there to remind us of what we used to do, who we used to be, you know, uh, what happened in the past, and people change and evolve and uh, shouldn't be beholden to um, who they used to be. Next, I'm going to pull a card here. Now, this is a monthly card, and what we're going to ask the cards is, when will we see our most, most growth? When is that going to happen for us? What month to look out for? And for you, it's May. What's interesting is May is a big marriage month and a big connection month. So um, that is very interesting. Next, we're going to pull a theme card. Uh, and let's see what theme they have for us. Uh, so this is actually labeled Astral House. So we're going to draw a card here to see where we land. And we land on wealth. So trying to create wealth. Now, wealth can be monetary there's gold coins here but wealth in relationship as well i mean i just think that wealth has a lot of meanings uh for different people a lot of people say your health is your wealth um my husband likes to say that so there you go so you are trying to work on everything in your life which many people are uh, what happens is when we are trying to make a lot of decisions and choices, we try to start too many things at one time. And my caution is to you uh, to try to accomplish one thing at a time. That way you're not discouraged. Uh, and let's go here. We're going to draw some tarot now. I'm going to be using two decks. One is a classic writer, Wade Smith. The other is the Light Sears deck. And then I will pull an Ethereal Visions deck. So, uh, uh, Ethereal Visions card, excuse me for our ending message here and you got a lot of cards so let's see what the tarot has for you look at the sun right there smack almost in the middle um so we see here that you know you it's telling you to keep your uh, a small circle here in terms of what you're trying to accomplish because you do have some negative uh people and energy in your life I want you to keep your group small, small in terms of who you confide in um, and who you um, ask for help from. You don't want to ask help from the wrong persons at this time because, you know, they're going to bring in their negative attitude and it's going to have effect on how you feel about you. We do have the King of Wands here, which is very positive. So you're very focused at this time. You're very focused in your life and in your career. Um, and in your passions and and that is wonderful right again we have the Sun card so meaning it is your time this is your time to accomplish things you know to start planting your seeds um, in the ground and I, I, I love this you will be prosperous it will um, 
can I guarantee all your crops coming up? No, but you are going to um, see some growth um, and some positivity here. We do have the Page of Wands, so you're looking forward. Like, you're not only trying to start something for now. I think in terms of your whole life, like, you're doing some life planning here is what I feel. Um, and it's, you know, it's a Wands card, so you're, you're passionate about it. Um, for many of you, this is making career changes. I think that you are looking to learn a new skill in your career um, based upon this card. And you're just really open to learning and um and trying something new, something different, but definitely more on the learning phase. The warning here is not to burn yourself out. Um, when you burn yourself out, you, ha you you can it can it can bring up old situations and old past behavior. So you know we want to make sure we get rest. We want to make sure we address some mental uh, aspects. You know this is not a swords card, but when I see this, there's a reason why we're guarded. There's a reason why, you know, we're taking this stance. And he's also on guard from people who have uh, hurt him or people who are trying to take something from him. So make sure, again, we put these people in their place. You do have the sun twice, which I love. So that means that this is, this is definitely something extremely positive for you. And um, not really getting a relationship vibe here for now but we'll see when we draw the cards this is more so business focused on goal setting um and trying to accumulate that wealth and long term you're thinking you know generational wealth uh that is what i'm getting from this reading now remember this is for everyone take what resonates and leave what uh behind what doesn't also listen to your sun moon and rising signs here another page you got the double page of wands so yeah you are really on it um and this also tells me that this is your gateway to your future uh you uh, you do have things to learn you do have things to study um again that is a positive thing and i know that many of us has, have not been in school you know and school is not for everyone you can take like a, a certification course or you can ask advice you know maybe an apprenticeship of some sort um, so that you can learn. Four of Wands tells me you're going to be victorious and celebratory. And I like that because this person's also keeping their circle very small. You see, there's there's two people celebrating away from this tent. So keeping your circle small, not being, um, not being out there visual, letting people see, you know, what exactly it is you're doing. You do have the Five of Swords here, which tells me that there's some internal struggle here, maybe some doubts of the past, um, and maybe some failed ventures, and, and that is plaguing on your soul. And this is why it is on top of this Four of Swords. So, you know, make sure you're, you're taking care of your mind, you're taking care of your body, um, so that you don't get burnt out or are discouraged from whatever it is you're trying to endeavor. That Fool card is everything along with the sun. Um, I think that's an amazing, amazing thing. The Nine of Cups here says that you're going to have a lot of wishes fulfilled. If that is, uh, in terms of your relationship, it is to go for it. I mean, this is mostly a business reading, but if I want to translate this, this is just to overall pick whatever it is you're passionate about. If it's about seeking a relationship or working on your current one, you're going to have success in that. Um, if it's in terms of business and career, you're going to have success in that. On the bottom of this card, you have the Eight of Cups. And again, that walk away, again, it's from the poison in your life. And I, I really like that energy of you being able to put uh, the nonsense behind you. At the bottom of this card is the Ace of Cups. Now, the Ace of Cups can mean a new relationship, marriage, um, things of that nature, uh, emotional healing, emotion, a new emotional um, beginning. Um, and I love this for you. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm Joella Rose, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks with your February reading.